How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Terraforma Craft Reloaded 2. This should be episode 21. And today, we're going to be taking things over to the dark place. The place that I've been wanting to go to for quite some time, but for some reason just have not done. Uh, and that is this place right over here. I've been talking about this a little bit here and there, and I just haven't actually gone about and done it, so I'm going to go ahead and go about and do it. Um, I did take the advice... Uh, God, I can't remember the name now. What was it? I think it was Diamond. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Diamondcraft 52. Yes, that one. Um, I tried what you said in the comments. I went to actions, auto map, and I did missing. I could have done all, but I just did missing. And it made no difference. Everything is exactly the same. So I'll try to do all later, but it took forever. Uh, and it only did one slice. So I'm not really sure exactly what that means, but it did one slice of the map. And it was not quite enough, so we'll figure that out at some point. But for now, we're going to go over to the Ookie Spooky place. And what I'm thinking is actually making this place into a mop farm. Because I was doing doing a little bit of reading here in the old book. If you look over here in Aspects of Magic. So, to keep in mind, uh, Rotten Flesh contains Corpus. And it contains Humanus. Corpus has Mortis and Bestia. Humanus has Bestia and Cognitio. If I take all of these compound aspects and break them down into their primal aspects, that's all six. So I can do some stuff with that, and that's kind of fun. Uh, but the main point is that I can turn it into an XP farm. That's kind of just a bonus. Uh, but the main reason I want to come into here is this right here. So that is not as exciting as I thought. So Terra, Ordo, and Ignis... And then there's Examinus. Let me check Examinus. Examinus is Motus and Mortis. Motus is going to have Air and Ordo. And then Mortis is going to have Perdicio, Aqua, and Terra. I think that makes them all, doesn't it? Perdicio is going to be four. Aqua is going to be five. Wait, I'm missing one. Am I missing one? Air. Nope, yep, that's going to be all six. Okay, never mind. So we actually have an Energize node right here, or a future Energize node right here. That's pretty fun. So let's real quick just go take a peek down here and give everything the old smackaroonies. Oh, wow, they're actually wearing very strong armor. I just realized that. That's incredible. Um, I kind of at some point would like to turn this into a, a full a full mob farm. So not just rotten flesh, but because there's a skeleton spawner in here, I can turn it into a skeleton farm as well. And I think that's pretty fun. So I can take advantage of a lot of stuff in here. Go away. And I can't place a torch there. Okay, interesting. We got some furious zombies and some regular zombies. Poke, poke. Oak. Oak. Wow, they actually give a lot of rotten flesh, and I did get that. Plus the wrought iron... Okay, that's kind of fun. Oh my god, there was a Thaumonomicon in here the entire time. Wow. And some quartz. I'm not super excited about... Honestly, this is kind of a boring chest, but the fact that it has a Thaumonomicon inside, that's... I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, that was kind of lame, but I can definitely, definitely use this building... This was almost anticlimactic, to be honest. I was expecting this to be a lot harder and a lot more rewarding than it turned out to be. But that node is going to be very useful, so that's good to uh, that's good to have. Uh, I'm going to resell that back up. That's fine. Uh, but I do now know for sure there is a skeleton spawner in there, so I can take advantage of that. Uh, so we can get bones going. Uh, speaking of, what do bones have? Wait, I don't have any on me, do I? Oh, yes, I do. Ooh. Something due to scan. Corpus and mortis. So we have this, and we have that. So, not as good as the Rotten Flesh is, but that's fine. Uh, apparently we just discovered something new, though. It said new research was acquired. Probably the Boned Wand Core, if I had to place a guess, unless that was already there. I'm pretty sure that's the thing. Um, now, let's run back home real quick. There is another aspect of magic I would like to learn. Uh, it's one that I have not actually... Where's my... There you are. Uh, it's one that I haven't actually researched yet. Ooh-hoo-hoo. -hoo. 
there's our warp kicking in. I did get a little bit of warp before I started the recording. Um, I grabbed a free research, or not free, but uh, where was it? This one, uh, nether materials. So all it does is turn fire brick into hardened fire brick, which is completely pointless. It's just a building material. You can't really do anything with it. So I kind of, kind of regret picking that up, but. It did give me a tiny little bit of warp, which sometimes is beneficial because it gives me a little bit of knowledge of the arcane. Let's take a look here. So this is the Sinister Lodestone. I'm probably not actually going to end up needing this, but I'm going to grab it anyway. Uh, but you'll notice there's a question mark here, and I think that is Iter or Iter? I'm trying to remember the exact pronunciation of that. Uh, which I believe I can learn by studying an Ender Pearl. Yes, and we unlock new research. We actually got two things. We got Alienus and Iter, which is amazing, or Iter. Iter is journey. Alienus is basically things that are unknown. Oh, it was actually Alienus. I was wrong. So Alienus has Vacuous and Tenebrae in it. And Tenebrae, I think, actually has... Oh, no. Wait, where are you? Yeah, it has Vacuous in it, so I can do that and that. And I can put those together. Uh-oh, I don't have enough air to, to work with here. That's a little unsettling. Let's see, this has... Oh, but that's only the... Ooh. Ooh. Hold up, I got this. So if I put you there, then I can put you there. And what else does this have? It also has Precantatio in it, which has Vacuos. Perfect. Look at that. And this is going to give us just a little bit of the warp. But now we can make a Sinister Lodestone, but I am just now realizing I think that's made through Infusion, isn't it? Yep. Crap. Uh, but that's okay. If we ever need Sinister Nodes, then we can use this to go out and find them in case we need them. Uh, I was also thinking maybe it would unlock additional research, and it's not looking like it did. So that might have all been kind of wasteful. Yeah, but that's okay. Uh, the main thing that I'm still concerned about is the fact that we can't make this primal charm because of all the shards we need. So at some point, I'm going to have to go out on a massive adventure and try to find myself tons of shards. Um, that's going to be very, very difficult because the shards are so rare and I keep only finding the Ignis shards and there's no way to convert uh, or fire shard. There's no way to convert a fire shard into an air shard or any other kind of shard. Uh, so I'm not honestly sure what I'm going to do about that. And now I'm very bummed out because I've been spending so much of my time working towards Thaumcraft. Just to now find out that I might not be able to do it for years. <laughs> so we'll, we're, we'll figure that out at some point. Also, if you hear any background noise, I apologize. Uh, someone's doing their laundry. I do live with other people. So eh, every time I go to record, someone wants to do something. But that's just how it is. That's how it is in this economy. So we've went ahead and done the sinister area, and that was kind of anticlimactic. So now what are we going to do? Let me think of the next plan here and I will figure out the next step from there. All right. Give me just a bit. OK, I think I've decided it's been a it's been a few in game days, um, but I think I've decided. It's time we get into working with steel and the reason I sound so not thrilled about that is because of how long this is about to take. I need 32 ingots just to make the blast furnace. This is going to take a little while. And a lot of welding. <laughs> all right, where's my fire starter? Let's get all this set up. So I can process five. Whoops, I can process five iron at a time. And over here. Oh, I don't have any over there. How about I take this? There. So I can do 15 at a time, but then I have to weld them. Hmm. This is going to take a while. And, and then, on top of that, I need 12 uh, sheets 
which means 24 ingots just for the first layer of the blast furnace. It's, it's going to take a while. This is this is going to take a while, so I will catch up with you all soon for you in a long time for me. So it's uh, it's been quite a minute now. I have uh, managed to obtain eight wrought iron double sheets. It actually didn't take quite as long as I thought it would, um, in all honesty. So let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll come back. There we go. So what I need now is to take my crucible and turn this into a blast furnace. Now for a blast furnace, it's the eight uh, double wrought iron ingots that we just made and the crucible, and before the beginning of the previous clip a little bit ago, I actually went back to the old base and got the graphite and kylonite that I had left over so that I could do that. We have an extra crucible, because I need, I need both. I don't know why that's a crafting recipe, though. Okay, so what I do is take this and... Boom. Blast off. Look at that. We even got an achievement for it. Oh, that's wonderful. We have a blast furnace now. We can actually start obtaining steel. I'm very, very excited about this. So with that, we can actually begin our evolution. Well, sort of. Uh, what we need first is to actually continue doing this down here. I've been sort of wasting coal uh, like a fool because what I need to do is make more sheets. I have five up top. I need a total of 12, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more, so I'll dump all of these. Whoops, come back. Dump all of these, and dump all of these. So having three forges all next to each other, this is really speeding up the process. So if you are having trouble with uh, time and how long it's taking you to make all of your stuff, make a few more forges, and you I, I don't think you'll complain about that anymore. Another thing that I'm thinking about, and I'm not going to do it this episode, and I want to want to have this uploaded and uh, all that so I can get some feedback before I try this. I'm curious about making a beacon, which would involve getting nether stars. Now, nether stars are, of course, obtained in the same way, kill the wither, but there's no access to the nether, and the wither skeletons that wander around never seem to drop their skulls, but what I was thinking... What if I made a cleaver? These come with 20% chance to behead, so what if I made a cleaver and went out killing the wither skeletons that carry the javelins? Would that then mean that I can get wither skeleton skulls and therefore be able to make wither bosses? Hmm? It's possible. I've never looked into it for Terra Firmacraft having a having a wither boss spawn, but I would very much be interested in seeing if that's a possibility. So that's something I'd like to look into. If any of you have any feedback, if any of you have tried this out, what I might actually do is uh, pop over to a creative world and try it myself, but I also want to get some feedback on it. Tell, uh, tell me if you think it's worth me even doing. Uh, there's not a lot of things you can do with the nether stars, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's mostly just making the beacon, but it's also ludicrite blocks. Now it's going to be blocks of emerald and plutonium and all that stuff, so it's something that might work, but might not. Oh, wait a minute, is Mistcraft isn't in this, is there? No, okay. RF tool, no. Nope, worth a ch- well, actually. At. 
Missed. No, at RF tools. Nope. Okay. It was worth a look. All right, so let's see. Yeah, these are still just warming up. So that's, this This is the main reason it takes so long, is uh, you got to wait for all your iron to heat up, which does, uh, does take a good while, especially if you're not hitting your bellows. That is necessary to do. Okay, while that does its thing, let's go ahead and plan this out. So I kind of want to have this here, I think. Go ahead and dig into this. And then the way it's shaped is you're going to have your crucible at the very bottom with the blast furnace right on top of it. And then a specific uh, setup for your fire bricks, which I still need to go make more of. There we go. And let's see. So this I think that we're going to make this bigger, actually. Not really planning this very well, am I? I go one larger. There. Oh. There. Okay. That should be plenty of room to work with. Now let's take a look here. Oh, good. That was plenty of time. Make sure these stay hot enough. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Awesome. So let's go ahead and work these down into some sheets. It's very easy to do. Shrink until it's passed. Medium hit, light hit, shrink, medium hit, light, light, light. Oops. There should also be a way to do it. Let's... Medium, light, shrink, medium, medium, light. Yep, that's it. Look how easy that is. I love it. So fill this space back up to heat them back up, and then grab all of these. Wait a sec. There we go. Make sure that that stays hot in case we need it. And then we'll turn... Actually, no, I don't need to make those sheets hot again. What am I talking about? Because I'm not making the double sheets anymore. There we go. That should be all of the sheets I need then. Yeah. I'm going to let these all burn... Oh, use that coal. Yeah, I'm just going to let those burn down. I don't think I need them anymore. At least not for now. Eventually I will. Go ahead and get these all cooled down with the water. Nice handy little trick. Very good. Okay, so that's the seven sheets that I had planned. And then up here, I should have the five, so that makes twelve. Now, the problem that I'm going to run into at this moment is I need fire brick. And unfortunately, that's not the easiest thing to obtain. So fire clay, which apparently I did have some laying around. Uh, oh, by the way, I made a little armor stand, threw on some armor that I got from some stuff, and there it is. Um, I need this, fire brick block. So that is five fire brick and two mortar. I actually just need four of these, so if I can... How do I make the fire brick again? Pit kiln with that. Ooh, that's right. Four only makes two. So I actually don't have enough fire clay then. And I think I've used all my granite and kaolinite, so that means I might have to go out looking for more. All right, and of course it's dark. Uh, when did the darkness come by? Uh, it's still early in the night. Hate to do it, but I'm gonna have to take a sleep. So I'm going to sleep, I'm going to go out, see what Kaolinite and Graphite I have laying around at the other base. And if it's not enough, I'm going to have to go out mining. And that hopefully won't take too long, but it could. It could take a little while. Let's get a little munch here. Look how high up my health is getting, by the way. I saw that Protein was my lowest stat uh, in here, and it's still kind of low. Brain's now my lowest, but because I've been eating so much of this venison, my health is skyrocketing. So let's grab this stuff. See if we can hit level 80. Eh, it's probably not going to be enough. Not enough has grown. Nah. We can hit 84, but not quite 85. Once I hit 85, uh, we're probably going to get a pretty significant health boost, which I'm excited about. All right, let me run to the other place. Where's my hang glider? There you are. And I'm going to see if I have the stuff that I need. And if not, well, then it's going to be adventure time, huh? 
I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so good news. I did have six pieces of graphite, which should translate, and some calonite, which should translate into six pieces of fire clay, which would leave me at 20 fire clay in total, which would make, make it to where I have 10 fire bricks, which should be just enough for four fire brick blocks, because it takes five bricks to make two blocks, so if I have 10 bricks, then I can make four blocks, and I'm pretty sure that's the exact amount that I need for the first layer of my last furnace. Now, that's going to make it to where I can only produce four pig iron at a time. So it's still going to be slow going, but it is still going to be steel production, and that's that's what's important here. So let's go ahead and do this. So one, two, three, four five and six and we'll go ahead and go down the line there we go so kaolinite 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 and then with that where's my clay i should have there we are two three four five six I'll put you in the center and do this. There's 20. There's 10. Wonderful. I completely forgot to bring the other thing back with me. Ah, one more minute, because I don't want to use the pit comb for this. All right, I am back. And I now have the pottery cone and chamber. So I think I'm just going to actually... Well, I can put them downstairs. It would make more sense to have them downstairs with everything else. I'll put you there, and I'll put you there. And then I can grab you. Ah, oh, oh, it's not going to be enough. That sucks. And then do that, and do that. And then that'll just take a good eight hours in game. And then once that's done, I still have to process these, though. Is it worth me just making an extra pit kiln? I, I might just make an extra pit kiln. Do I have any straw? I don't. Do now. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got in here. So I can grab, no, I don't want to use the hickory. Hickory is important. Okay, so grab this. And I'll just do this here. I know, I know, it might be a little bit wasteful, but I'm, I'm going to have to use the wood anyway. So, <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. So that'll do its thing. Is it going to be nighttime soon? Kind of, yeah, so I might actually be able to sleep away some of the time, uh, just to make it less uh, grueling for me. And once that's done, we'll be able to make ourselves... The Blast Furnace. This is a pretty productive episode, look at this. Oh, and I did fix that little top piece, I think, in the last episode. I don't remember if I actually showed it or not, but there was a, there was a little bit missing. Went ahead and fixed that, so that is doing wonderfully. But I don't want to dump in all my magnetite, which, by the way, there's my spoils from the last mining trip. Uh, I want to use a lot of that to make more stuff. Also, let's check out my charcoal. Do I have a good bit? Oh no, my creosote oil is just full. Okay, so let's make a new let's make a new barrel then. Wait, I just need the one, don't I? There we go. Love it. All right, so unfortunately, there's not really a good way to just dump all of this out. At least not where I'm at at the moment. So this is kind of the best I've got. It's just throw in a bucket, dump, throw in a bucket, dump, throw in a bucket. <laughs> Eventually I'm going to have some sort of fluid transport. I know immersive engineering has their own fluid transport uh, pipes. So I might use that. We'll see. Oh, that's full now. Oh my. So I already need to make another one.
I'm not upset about that though. Because having all of this just means that I have lots of creosote to work with. And there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and seal that and seal that. All right, let's see what we got. That's still moving. I don't actually know how long I have left on these. It's still cooking up though. All right, so let's go ahead and take a nap. Oh, come on. Let's make sure we don't starve in the middle of the night. Oh no. Give back meat. I should actually set up a kitchen table and start making some real food. But it'll happen eventually. Not right now. Here we go. Everything should be done now, right? Look at that. I think we're good. I think we're good. So we will pluck that out. There we go. Oh, the leaves are changing. Oh, that's kind of cool. And terrifying because that means the seasons are really changing, huh? Ooh, ooh, I bet we can get 85. Can we get 85? Oh, no, we only have like two bushes. Ooh. So close. All right, but man, the leaves are really changing. What's the temperature? Three? The temperature is 3.6 degrees. Oh, it's going to be snowing soon. It's going to be knocking stuff down. That thing keeps scaring me. I might not. I might have to move that or just take it down altogether. Give me my fires, my fire bricks, and I need the mortar. Come here. No, no, no. There we go. Mortar. So we just need a little bit of that. And that's two, uh, four fire bricks. So the way this should work, I might need to dig down a little bit more too. I don't really know the best way to go about this, so I think I need to set it up to where... Oh man, it's been a minute. Oh wait, but I still need another crucible, don't I? I'm just going to have to take this temporarily. So I think the crucible goes there. Let's set you here just for a... Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so crucible... Set you here as a extra placement. And does it go one more up and then like this? I think that's right. And break you out. I think that's right. And then you take your sheets and you set them on the side like this. And that should make it to where if I then place down the blast furnace. Yes, that was it. We have a blast furnace. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is great. OK, so now we can actually work with this. So what we need now is that little oh, what's it called? Like a two year one of these. Two, two years, two years. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, and I think I'm going to make it out of iron. So to make an iron one is... Oh, it actually takes a double iron sheet. Oh, man. I wish I had... Did it just throw the iron down the ladder? Oh, my God. I'm getting it. You don't think I'm getting it? I'm getting it. It wasn't down here. It, uh... <laughs> it wasn't down here. What a waste of time. Okay, so since I didn't find the iron down there, that makes me wonder exactly where it went. Oh my god. It was right there. What an embarrassment I have become. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this set up real quick. It should only take a little bit and do that. And do that. There we go. That's going to get nice and hot. We'll get the iron to thing whatever it's called and then we're actually gonna we're gonna get this going in the meantime let's see if i can maybe pretty this up just a teensy bit so let's do this take out all these side pieces 
There we go. Take that out. Okay, so with that, let's see. Do I have this? Yes, I do. I need a new hammer because the only hammer I have right now is actually in the anvil. The bismuth one broke. Okay, so let's do... How do I switch? There it is. That's how I switch. Let's do this one again because I kind of like that. Now the question is, should I dig this part out? I think we're going to keep this here. Like that, and then maybe one more down? Maybe one more down. But let's see, so I kind of want to chisel out... Like this. A little bit like that, okay. And then maybe along the sides here as well. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so we get all these corners taken out. So now it just looks extra jagged and funky looking. Which I kind of like. Kind of here for that, I think. It's pretty nice. And then down here... That's the question. Do I want to keep going with that? Let's see how this is doing. Right, right. Okay, so plenty of time. Should I go down here as well? Let's see. I think so. So we'll do this. And flip all that around again. And then let's do... What if we make a ring? Around here. Huh? Maybe? It looks a little funky. Can't quite tell how much I like it. Ooh. It is getting a little funny to walk inside of, though. Take out some of these pieces. But if I take out that, that makes me kind of want to take out this. But I don't know. I don't know if I actually want to do that. It's fine. Okay, so we have this going on now. It kind of looks like a small meteor crashed into it. It's 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 interesting at the very least. All right, so we're getting to the point where we can weld this. It's yellow white and it's about to be flashing, uh, which is exactly what we want. Have a quick bite to eat. This can also go three more high, so we can do. Basically one, two, and three. Pretty much straight up to the ceiling. Uh, but then we might have to knock out a piece up there just so that it has some kind of... Some kind of chimney, I guess. Okay, and real quick, we'll make this. Ah, uh, I lost the I lost the weld part. And I think this is starting to cool a little bit. We'll see. I think one more piece of coal might have to get used. Need to get this just hot enough to be able to weld again. Uh, well, maybe just a little bit higher than that. Yeah, this should be fine. This should be fine. So let's throw that in here. Weld that. And now we can make this. And all it needs is bend at the end. So let's do that. Is that not... Is that not it? Oh, I went slightly past it. Oh, no. It's... It's so close every time. Oh, come on. Gotcha. There we go. There we go. We made it without having to reheat. So that's in there, which means this will now actually function. So now what we need is charcoal. And I don't think it can be coal. I think it actually has to be charcoal. And I'm feeling a little bit silly because I was thinking about that earlier. And that's the whole reason I got the creosote out of the 
coke oven. And then, ooh, but it's okay. We still have some charcoal. This is perfect. So let's grab a little bit of magnetite. We'll actually grab from here, I think. We're just going to do four. Because I think that's all I can process at once, right? So just hop up here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is that all we can do? It's not recognizing the ore. Why isn't it recognizing the ore? I don't put it in here. And I definitely don't put it down there. Hmm. Uh, what's going on? Why are we not using this? I um, figured it out. I forgot the flux. <laughs> so it's not just charcoal in the ore. It's uh, you also you also need flux. So let's do one, two, three, four. That one, two, three, four. Did it give me that back? It did. One, two. There we go. That's it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so let's go ahead and put in that again, and we will relight this. There we go. Smack this a few times. And that'll heat up. We have the blast furnace. Is that not exciting? Now that it's actually working? Oh boy. All right, but at least we got it done. At least we built this. Ah, oh, so good. So good. There. Screenshots are hard. Okay, so once this is done, which I don't know exactly how long it takes, um, but it will... Uh, actually, I don't think it takes all that long. I mostly just need to get this hot enough, and then it'll burn through the charcoal that's in there. And then once it's at a certain temperature, it should drop the pig iron into the crucible, right? I'm losing the charcoal, which is expected, but I'm not losing the ore yet. Ah, there it goes. So you see, it, it actually shows this as being very hot, so that's not done yet. Hopefully I don't need to toss in any more charcoal since I've just been pumping that bellows. Let me do this for just a little bit. Once this is nice and hot, we should be good to go. Let me see if I can uh, top that off. Can I top that off? Oh, I can. Cool. Just in case I need to. I like it. So give me just a little bit and I'll come back as soon as this is working. All right. So you see it's flashing on that. So I think now if I hit the bellows, it should get it to where it's hot enough to actually melt the ore down with the charcoal to the point where it'll drop out into the crucible. So let's give it a few. Oh, we just lost the last bit of the charcoal. There we go. Brilliant white. But what we want to see. Just use the last bit of the charcoal again. Oh, three of four. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's dumping the ore out. I'm just trying to keep this hot enough to keep it going. Done. We have pig iron. We have one ingot, <laughs> one ingot of pig iron is ready. So let's go ahead and get that out. So all of that, all of that work is for this. It takes forever. It's very much a slow process. And it was extremely expensive to build all of this, but it is done. We now have some pig iron, so I have to wait until this cools down just a little bit so I can uh, really do something with it. So once this is... Come on. Come on, cool down, please. Do I have to dump it in water? I shouldn't have to. Maybe it just takes a while for this stuff to cool? Let's see. Quick little click in and out. Uh, no. Oh, there it goes. There we go. So let's toss that in here to make the ingot. Still no. 
there we go, high carbon, which we can then turn into this, so this should be the actual steel. We have a steel ingot. Oh boy. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We have a steel ingot. Check it out. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so what is something that I want to do with this right away? It's not going to be a steel rod. I'm thinking... There's a lot of different recipes that can use this. But one thing I would love to work towards is A, making steel easier to produce, but also power. So one method is doing a thermoelectric generator, but that takes three steel and some copper wire and some constant. I feel like that's not worth it. A lightning rod base. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of steel though. That's, nope, that's not gonna happen. Steel scaffolding is gonna be important in regards to making the multi-block structures, but I'd like to be able to, I'd like to be producing more steel first. This is going to be very important, the machine chassis. So I need three more steel ingots, and I need some copper and gold to make a basic capacitor. So that way I can make uh, the alloy smelter. And I want to say there is a way... Whoops, not smelt. I think there's a way to produce steel using the alloy smelter. Let me see if I'm wrong on that. Is it... No, that's the high carbon... Weak steel, steel. Arc furnace alloy smelter, so let's check it out so we can get steel dust. Oh, that's it, it's just steel dust. Well, how do you make the steel dust? Just by crushing steel. Okay, so that's not what I'm looking for then. Then there could be... Let's check out the pig iron. Yes! Actually, yes! Uh, a piece of flux, a piece of coal powder, and a wrought iron ingot, and we have pig iron. I think this is the project we need to work towards. We need to make an alloy smelter. And so to make the alloy smelter, it's also going to cost a lot of power. Keep that in mind. Uh, 250,000 RF for one operation of this. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. Um, but in order to make this, so I need a cauldron, four iron, uh, two crucibles, a blast furnace, so that, uh, and then the machine chassis, and that's going to be the three steel. So, yeah, we can do this. So that's going to be, that might be something we do next episode, actually. Uh, might make a water wheel, and we can use the water wheel with some, uh, with some cabling and whatnot, and get ourselves... An alloy smelter going, uh, oh, but that also means we're going to need a, um, a sag mill, huh? Because to make a sag mill, yeah, that's going to be, so we're going to need actually eight things of steel in total. And obsidian. We actually have to go out and get obsidian. Well, that shouldn't be too bad, right? Or did I already learn this lesson? I already learned this lesson. You can't, I don't think this works anymore, right? I'm pretty sure I tried that, and it didn't work. Uh, so I think I could just go down there, because this should have a high enough mining level to mine obsidian. And then once I have the obsidian, then I can make the sag mill, but that's going to take forever. Getting all that steel, hmm. It's going to take a while, but I can do it. All right, so I will go ahead and close things down here. I've been recording for way too long, uh, as I usually do. I'd like to get some editing done. Um, for any of you who have been waiting for the Enigmatica 2 and RL Craft uh, episodes to come out, uh, I do. I did record a little in bulk. Um, I just, I never got to the, to the editing. And it's mostly just because life has been beating me lately. Work has been work and yeah. Though there are some opportunities coming my way, and I am trying to jump onto a few things. Plus, the vacation that I mentioned uh, in the previous episode is coming up very soon. Uh, nine days, in fact, until I can fly away to safety. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. I'm going to be spending uh, ten days out in California with my girlfriend, and it's going to be an amazing time. So real quick, before I leave, let me make sure this works. Yes! We have obsidian. Okay, this works perfectly. We're good. I might actually take some of this and try to make another portal just to see if it works. 
No guarantees, but it would be very interesting to see what um, what comes across. It would be a nice little experiment. Uh, I'll just mine this up and we'll check that out in the next episode. So thank you everyone very much for coming by. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in part 22. Have a good day.